Kevin is singing to start Sunday. Sing it, buddy. Yeah. Oh boy, good morning, good Sunday morning. I always love waking up next to a river. Just the sound of the river all night really soothing. I slept really well. You sleep well when you ride your bike all day and burn a ton of calorie calories. Ah, what a spot. My hair seems to really be getting excited about life these days. It just keeps getting taller and taller. <laughs> uh, I kind of like it. It's one of the benefits of greasy hair. It just looks cooler. How you doing bud? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I had to sleep on the ranch. It was a great night. It wasn't too cold. It's the perfect temperature right now. I have your good morning stick, Mira. You ready? You ready? Go get it. Good morning, bud. Good morning. Did you have a little Sunday morning sleep in? I did. To yeah. all, all the way to what, six? To six, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and yeah. he's making his coffee. This is what he does every morning. Time. Makes his coffee. Good to see you, my friend. Getting our water today from the well. They say this is the best water on the ranch. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Yeah, are you ready? You ready? Are you psyched? I can't tell. I can't quite tell. Whoa, whoa. Drop your stick. Drop your stick. <laughs> I love your energy. I love it. Man, that sun always feels so good on my face in the morning. I love it. All right, we're leaving Ladder Ranch. Thank you so much for the wonderful day of rest. We are heading into Colorado today for sure, although we technically probably were sleeping in Colorado, but we have not crossed the actual Colorado welcome sign. We're gonna do a little happy dance later today. I know John's excited about that. Mira's excited. It's gonna be Kevin's first time. Let's do it. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. Woo! Look at all the sheeps. Good morning, sheeps. Hello, sheeps. <laughs> I think sheep are among the cuter of the livestock in the world. Look at them all run away. Wow. They see Mira and they're taking off. <laughs> Look at that. There's a ram with big horns. Oh, really? Yeah. We're going 55 miles today, and a lot of that is gonna be up. Up into Colorado. I know Kevin's butt is very excited about that. <laughs> How you feeling, John? I feel really good, yeah. And I, I love riding a bike up hills. So it's, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it a lot. Yeah. See more of Colorado. Hi, Mira. Hi, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I get to ride my bike and pet a dog at the same time. Oh, you're so sweet in that basket. Yeah, it's a service us dog packers provide. <laughs> yeah. You spread smiles to everybody. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Good to see you. Ah. You know what I really like? I like riding in aspen trees. They might be my favorite tree in Colorado. They're just really pretty. I love the 
the white trunks with the black, the contrast, and their fluttery little leaves. Yeah, I'm enjoying just slowly admiring the trees. It's a nice chill Sunday morning. I'm all by myself. Kevin's back there ways. John's up there ways. And I'm in the middle. All good. So I was up the road a little bit, waiting for Kevin and I, you know, I know he's having a tough time on the hills, but I was like, wow, dude, something must be, something must be going on. So I turned around, rode back, and he's on the side of the road fixing his bike. That's what happens sometimes. They don't always work. But the good thing is, fixing a bike isn't all that hard if you have some very minor bike mechanic skills. What happened, Kevin? Nature. So, so Kevin had a hole, we, we shoved in some bacon strips, it's a tubeless setup, and it's not holding, so we're going to throw a tube in there, huh? Yep. Little NASCAR pit stop. Go Kevin, go Kevin. Another bonus to riding back roads is that when your bike breaks, it's a much nicer place to fix your bike when there aren't cars flying by at 60 miles an hour. All right, we are back on the bikes. How's the tire feel? Uh, it feels great. Feels good to be riding again. Yeah, I have a question, Kevin. Did you sing the No Flatties chant this morning? <laughs> this could no. be why. I did not. You did not see? You gotta do that every morning. <laughs> Wards off those flatty evil spirits. We'll do it again. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. All the way to Steamboat. Let's do it. You know, I boast about being from Colorado all the time and my Colorado pride, and I do love it. And what I'm excited about with this specific route is I'm gonna be riding completely new areas to me. I mean, I've seen a little bit of what we're going through, but for the most part, it is all gonna be brand new. So I get to experience my state in a new way, which is really gonna be great. And I'm fortunate and grateful and happy and ready to pedal up and down some big ass mountains. <laughs> Hey Kevin, how you liking these Colorado hills? He's loving it. He's loving it. We have this whole forest to ourselves. It is a thick, thick aspen grove. Here we go, Kevin. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's do it. We've been riding by lots of very cool old style cabins and houses this entire route. And I gotta say, this is one of my favorites. It's like a barn house. <laughs> Looks like a barn, but it's also a house. I lust after these things. I'm like, maybe I could live out in the middle of nowhere if I live somewhere like that. That is pretty awesome. That is some serious craftsmanship there. Love it. Since there was no welcome to Colorado sign, we're gonna do it right here in front of this old general store with our new friends, Vince and Gretchen. Let's do it, guys. Nice to meet you guys. You guys too. Oh, hi, Mira. You get so excited, don't you? Awesome. You get so excited. Yeah. Wake up, everybody! And now we're gonna ride some smooth pavement for about 30 miles on into Steamboat. Yeah. 
Mira, this is for you. Baby. Can you believe it? So we're racing down this mountain road and we pass by and John's like, popsicles. And I was like, popsicles, okay. And then we get closer and we actually, it says dog ice cream. So tell me about this. So dog ice cream is made out of Greek yogurt, peanut butter, and pumpkin puree. And we have another flavor, but we actually ran out yesterday. So that one is made out of cinnamon, oatmeal, Greek yogurt, and mashed bananas. And what inspired you to make dog ice cream? Um, so where did we see it? I'm not sure, I think we just came I think we just kind of found it online. And then um, I'm saving up to buy my own horse. So this is just kind of a good thing to do in the summer to get a lot of money. Awesome. And how many dogs are buying ice cream? Um, I mean, it kind of are varies on the day. Like sometimes awesome. I only have like one or two customers. Sometimes I have like 15. All so right. this kind of depends on the days. Apparently cloudy days are best for it. All right. I don't know why. <laughs> Mira, are you excited for some dog ice cream? Can you believe this? Yeah, Mira gets a unicorn. Oh, look at that homemade. Look how, look how happy Mira is. Yeah. <laughs> She needed a little treat. Oh, yeah. All at once. Oh, my god. She goodness. doesn't fool around about it. Oh, no. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. And they even have human popsicles. <laughs> How long have you been saving up for a horse? I've been saving for a horse since I was three. Wow. Every birthday, everything, you put all your money towards? Yep. Every time I got money, every Christmas, Easter, any time I got money. How close are you? Um, Pretty close, I think few hundred more dollars and then I can hopefully afford one. Nice. Well, when you earn something like that, it's a lot more special. You're doing it the right way. <laughs> Good you. luck with everything. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Thank you so much. <laughs> that might be one of the most fun roadside snack stops ever. That girl was so sweet saving up for a horse and, and Mira is the happiest of all of us. Usually we get to you know, scarf all the food and Mira has to wait outside of the cafes, but this one was all Mira. So I want to give a shout out to all my Colorado drivers. We're on a pretty busy road right now with no shoulder and they're all going way around us, giving us plenty of room. And I think it's probably because they're used to, you know, bikes riding up and down this road and uh, just being courteous, you know, share the road because this is a very skinny road and there's lots of cars. It could be a lot more dangerous than it is. We just rolled into Steamboat on a nice bike path. This is like one of the biggest cities we've been in in a long time. And it's not even that big. And it is beautiful. And there's the Colorado flag. It's gonna look small on camera, but here we go. Okay, guys. Okay. Welcome to 1350 Blue Spruce Court here in Steve Springs, Colorado. Yeah. Enchiladas para la familia. Hey. Esta tiene verdura solamente. Esto tiene pollo. Esta mitad tiene queso. Entonces, enchiladas para todos. No pueden entrar a la casa, pero sí pueden acampar. Muchas gracias por venir. Gracias, amigo. Eso, eso. This is so great. This is Roddy. He's an old friend. He's a really close friend of my younger brother. I get and, closer, but I can't. Yeah, yeah, he's got to be six feet. But uh, we were rolling into Steamboat, and I was like, oh, yeah, Roddy lives here. So I texted my brother, Ethan. He called Roddy. Roddy's like, yeah, you can camp. But we did not know we were going to have enchilada fiesta. <laughs> wow, you're the best, man. Thank yeah, you so much. Bienvenidos a la fiesta. La fiesta. <laughs> I like your acento. Yeah. Mira, do you want enchiladas? Do you want enchiladas? Dog enchiladas? You already had your dog's treat oh, today. It is always nice to end the day with friends and familiar faces and that's what we're doing today here in Steamboat and we're filling our bellies full of enchiladas. La vida es buena, no? I'll see you down the road, Mira, okay? You gotta come to Boulder.